down here at Salsi in a cockpit of the hovercraft to talk to Jock about more of the controls and how it works. Air is going into, rolling up the skirt, lifts up there. Then we use the uh, props to get a bit noisy, I'll try and keep speaking. Uh, steering with the power drop down the knob there, which is moving those thrusters there. Because the tide's in, we have to come down on the power, we don't get out over hot. So the thing, steering, uh, the bow thruster, that little knob there, and then my feet are on rudder pedals. If you look behind the props, you can see them, see them turning, there's three behind each prop. There they go, going the other way, you can see the stern moving. Steering is done with a combination of the two. We use the rudders to control the rate of turn. Come up on power now. Props are now at 1900, which is our usual running speed. Speed is 27 knots. There's a heading 228. And we have a route, route in. We don't worry too much about it unless it's foggy, in which case we're very interested in the last half mile run in to get the centre line to the pad. Uh, four engines, as I mentioned, they're protected with uh, fire warning and built in fire extinguishers. So each engine has a fire warning one, two, three, four there. Uh, and there's two extinguishers for each engine. When they build these, every single piece of equipment is considered for its weight. And if it's too heavy, we don't use it, we look for something lighter. The hovercraft are originally they were built as aircraft. The hull construction was aircraft construction, so it was lightweight alloys riveted and glued together. When we moved over to the marine uh, construction, the, the hull isn't an aircraft hull, it's a, a ship hull, very thin aluminium, but it's constructed marine grade aluminium, welded, and it's far, far cheaper to operate than a gas turbine one. Just flipping the power thrusters astern, you'll see them now starting to face forward. Uh, they act as brakes, so they help slow us up. We only stop by gradually running out of momentum and the pad at either side is on a slope so gravity stops us as well. We landed just by reducing the lift and down we come. There's three landing legs underneath so you'll feel us go to a bump, bump, bump. We've had one bump, there's another bump, oh, and there's a third bump. Back to the studio. 